Good morning, everyone. Welcome again to class 11, Informatics Practices, Chapter 3, that is Python Fundamentals, Part 1. In this part, we are going to learn about introduction of Python Fundamental. Then we'll see Python character set. After that, we'll see tokens. Number 4, we'll see keywords number five identifiers and at the last we'll see the introduction of literals let's begin with introduction we all have heard about the term ipo that is input process and output our daily life and the computer actions are governed by ipo cycle that is there is certain input, certain kind of processing and an output. Make IPO cycle happen. Anywhere and everywhere where we want to transform some kind of input to a certain output, we have some kind of input to certain output, we have a program. A program is a set of instructions that govern the processing in other words the program performs the base of processing so in this chapter we are going to talk about all the basic elements of python program so in this video i am going to talk about all the basic elements that a python program can contain so let's begin with python character set a character set is a set of valid characters that a language can recognize. Python character sets includes the following character set. That is, it includes the letters A to Z capital as well as small a to Z. It includes the digits from 0 to 9. It also includes the special symbols like space plus minus slash small bracket big bracket curly bracket comma full stop then semicolon and all the symbols it also includes the spaces like blank space horizontal tab vertical tab carriage return along with that other characters that is a python can process all ASCII that is American Standard Code for Information Interchange and Unicode characters. Now let's understand the tokens. In Python, the smallest individual unit in a program, like text, individual uh, word, and the punctuation mark, is called token or lexical units. A Python has the following tokens. Number one that is keywords number two identifiers number three literals number four operators and number five punctuators and this commonly called tokens now we'll begin with one by one let's start with the keywords our keywords are the desert words in a python that convey a special meaning to the language compiler or interpreter we cannot use a keyword as a variable name function name or any other identifiers they are used to define the syntax and structure of the python language in python keywords are case sensitive there are 33 keywords in python 3.7 and this number can vary slightly over the course of time all the keywords except true false or none are in lower case and they must be written as they are we can see a list of all the keywords that are present. Here's a 35 keywords according to uh, Python 3.8. So that's a, a false, await, else, import, pass, none, break, expect, in, raise, true, class, finally, is, return. So you can see the other list of all the list of keywords that are used in a Python program. And all the keywords have this me special meaning, and that special meaning is conveyed to the Python compiler or interpreter. Now let's see the identifiers. Identifier is a name 
given to the entities like class, functions, variables, etc. It helps to differentiate one entity from another. Now, in Python, there is a rule for writing the identifiers. So, what are the rules for uh, writing the identifiers? Let's see. Number one, identifiers can be a combination of letters in a lower case that is A to Z or uppercase capital A to capital Z or the digits 0 to 9 or an underscore. Remember one thing, except underscore, no other symbols are used. Names like my class, you can see my class, varchar, print this word are all valid examples. Now, an identifier cannot start with a digit. That means one num is an invalid identifier, but num1 is a valid name or identifier. Number three, a keyword cannot be used as identifiers. For example, if I write global is equals to one, is invalid because a global is a keyword in Python. But if I write game is equals to one, it is a valid identifier because game is not a keyword. So we can say a keywords cannot be used as identifiers. Number four, rule number four is we cannot use a special symbols like uh, exclamation mark, at the rate, comma, dot, or the hash, dollar, percentage sign, etc. in naming the identifiers. As I told you, except underscore no other symbols are used as an identifier in python next is identifiers can be of any length so there is a no limit of the length length means number of characters it may be a sing it can be a single character it can be a up to uh, there is a no limit of identifier now one thing we must remember that a python is a case sensitive language this means if I write capital V A R and another place, if I write V A R, both are not same. Both are different. Now, after identifier, let's see the literals. Literals often refer to as a constant values, and these are the raw data given in the variable or constant. In Python, there are various types of literals and they are as follows number one numeric literals number two string literals number three boolean literals number four special literals like none and number five that is literals or collections so these are the all uh, different types of literals available in a python so i'm creating a short video only so and we'll see the details of the literal in the next video. So till then, thank you.